Hello, investors. It's Don Vandenborg, Senior Portfolio Manager with Revere Asset Management. Today is Tuesday, January 2nd, 2024, 6.25 p.m. Late start. Actually, not a late start. Just a second recording with corrupted audio on the first go around. So let's give it another shot. Uh, where are we? Tonight's Daily Market Insight video. State of the market. We are in an uptrend. Since the follow through days on 11.1 and 11.2, check the trend gauge over here. You can see the four green arrows, but the market leader's arrow a little less green today after a lot of rotation out of 2023 tech leaders, many of them breaking the 21 day moving average, a few of them testing the 21 and reclaiming. Uh, we've been extended for a while, we've been uh, pointing that out. Expected a pullback, didn't expect the massive rotation that we got. The market's full of expectation breakers. You can have expectations, but when those don't come to fruition, you better be ready to pivot. So we'll discuss that in tonight's video. Really, the interaction with the 21-day moving average uh, and the st either strength or weakness in that area is going to be critical over the rest of the um, this week. The market often takes the elevator down for a day before recovering. We saw that uh two weeks ago but um we'll see what happens as the week progresses but as far as the indexes go and again this is one of the reason why we are proponents of index investing for a part of the uh portion of your portfolio s p 500 catches all of this rotation that we saw today out of tech into uh out of high out of tech into defensive out of out of high beta into low beta out of uh, into divis dividend stocks. So we'll go through it all by the end of this video. But all five of the major indexes are still trending above their short term, short term 21 day moving average, medium term 50 day moving average, and long term 200 day moving average. So what happened today? Gap down uh, about six tenths of a percent on the S&P, a little worse on the NASDAQ and small caps. Small caps rallied early. In fact, uh, everything rallied after basing for about two hours, but then uh, we had some abrupt uh, selling in the afternoon, and that followed kind of what happened in the morning, which was rotation out of tech into defensives. Here are the numbers on the day. Big seven, sold with two hands, uh, down 1.76%. RG8, don't like to see this. This is our eight growth ETF composite, down 1.7%. S&P closed about where it opened, down six tenths of a percent, but the equal weight was uh, slightly positive. Again, you know, we're, you know, this is a tech-heavy uh, index and uh, equal weight reflecting the weakness in that big tech. NASDAQ 100 down 1.7, equal weight down 1.1, Dow positive. That's a defensive index. That's where the money was flowing today. Mid caps down 0.32, Russell 2000 down 0.7, Global 6040 down 0.7. In-house protection, some of our leaders took a big hit. Uh, you know, we come on here every day, talk about uh, what we're doing, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Six out of the last eight weeks beat the S&P. The S&P beat us today, uh, down 1.84%. Let's dive into it. We'll start off with, well, let's look at this SPLV, low volatility index, up 0.88% today. Something even better, SPHD, uh, this is high dividend, low volatility. Is this where, uh, where the market money is going to flow? uh throughout this year we don't know for sure but it did today that was up 1.63 percent while sphb high beta uh the relative strength leader you can see the relative strength there from november this led the rally not today though breaking below the 8 ema still above the 21 that's how extended these types of stocks got uh down 1.6 percent on the day let's get to the s p 500 Broke the eight, closed in the upper third of the range. Look at a five-minute chart here. You can see the gap down and then about a two-hour base before we broke higher. Uh, but all that did was fill the gap from Friday's low. Uh, and then three waves down, bottomed at 47.23, rallied up 47.43. We're actually four points below where the Santa Claus rally started. So that has turned uh, slightly red. So the Grinch stealing the tech stock gains. Let's go to the NASDAQ 100. Uh, bounced at the 21, actually undercut and reclaimed the 21. So today's lows become critical on the NASDAQ 100, down 1.7% uh, on the day, holding that 400 level. We need to keep an eye on that. The Dow, the winner of the day, 
uh, showing some relative strength. Actually, it showed relative strength late last week, too. Maybe that was a precursor, although it's hard to judge anything from uh, Christmas week with the volume being so low. Uh, but the Dow up 0 0.07 today, mid caps, un undercut the 8, closed below the 8, uh, but still above the 500 breakout level, down a third of a percent today. IWM small caps down 0.6, undercut that 200 level. When we undercut reclaim the eight, we took a position in this, uh, the TNA this morning, we've been wanting to uh, reestablish our small cap uh, position, but uh, we better hold today's lows or we'll be saying goodbye to that. Let's go to the VIX. VIX was up all day today, closed near the lows of the day with the rally in the afternoon, uh, but above the 21 day moving average, which is now flattened out. Uh, US dollar, zero USDR. Uh, we got just too extended to the downside in that. We're having a snapback on this. This is one of the reasons this was a headwind for the market today, reclaiming the eight-day exponential moving average and the third day up on the U.S. dollar. Uh, how did that translate to gold and gold stocks? Gold down a quarter of a percent today. GDX down 1.5% today, breaking back below the 21. Bitcoin was the... Uh, uh, winner on the day, but the Bitcoin stocks not necessarily as coin got hit hard today. Bitcoin up 6.8%. It broke out uh, over the weekend. Let's go to bonds now. Broad bond index down today. Bonds down means uh, means yields higher. A little bit of a headwind for stocks also. Uh, down 0.42%. The long bond TLT down 0.58. You know, if the price is down, that means the yield is up. The 30 year up 1.64%, the 10-year uh, third day up off the bottom, up 2.07%. Let's go to the tail of the tape now. You can pause this. I'll hit the highlights before we get into the charts. Uh, as I said, Santa Claus rally now negative today, breaking back below that 47.47 pivot, closing at 47.43 today. Three-day consolidation after uh, four days up. We need to hold that low. From last week, first close below the 8 EMA, but 41st close above the 21 EMA on the S&P 500. And we haven't touched it. Um, we did bounce on the Qs today, still above it on the S&P 500. That's what that rotation does when it gets out of, out of some sectors or from growth and going to value. It all takes place inside the S&P 500. Uh, sector strong on the day, the defensives, finance, staples, utilities, healthcare, and real estate. Biotech up, regional banks up on the downside, industrials and tech, semiconductors, software, and home builders. Portfolio changes. We put a hedge on uh, with the XLK break below the 21-day moving average. So that's kind of a partial hedge of the big, uh, the big allocation that the S&P 500 has to tech. If you want to rotate it out of that, uh, hedging the tech portion is a way to cover that. I mentioned we bought TNA. We also trimmed three positions that broke below the 21 today. Path, ESTC, and GTLB. Uh, reduction in our exposure from 163 to 1.38. Bottom line, heavy rotation out of 2023 tech leaders into defensive names. Let's take a look at some charts. I'm going to fly through uh, some of the key charts uh, from, I went through 80 of them last Friday. Let's take a look at uh, some that survived today, a um, hookup with the 21 day moving average. So SOX undercut, but reclaimed by the end of today, but XLK did not, that closed below. We already showed the NASDAQ 100 uh, that, that held. Those three kind of move in unison, but with slight differences, FNGS, is eight big cap ETFs, including the big seven, and that did break the 21. Uh, some things that touched the 21 and held gap, undercut, and reclaimed. ANET, one here's a tech stock that undercut but reclaimed the 21. Uh, CRM, tech stock, uh, held the 21, as did Workday. There's a couple of big software stocks closed right on the 21, but Microsoft broke the 21. And Apple broke the 50-day moving average. Today's low is critical for Apple. We're going to see how this behaves as that will have a big impact on the XLK and also the indexes. Uh, some other that survived, Pinterest undercut and reclaimed. Uh, Nutanix and TNX uh, undercut and reclaimed the 21 GTLB. We trimmed part of this today. It closed basically right below the 21. ELF. 
gap down with an Estee Lauder downgrade, but reclaim the 21. Again, that's not tech. So uh, not seeing the weakness, as I said, in the non-tech stocks. Crowd, big leader from last week. Cyber stocks got hit today, but this held the 21, uh, as did Sentinel, a new emerging uh, cybersecurity stock that had a nice run after its uh its uh, earnings report. Now, some that didn't hold the 21, ESTC undercut reclaim, but then failed. Uh, Snow uh, undercut, closed below, couldn't reclaim it. Shopify leader broke below it, couldn't reclaim it. IoT hard hit today uh, below. DraftKings, this uh, held at the 21 and the 50 day moving average. We noted weakness in that. Um, last year, uh, Roblox tech related below the 21. Uh, let's see, Datadog winner from last year, uh, breaking below the 21 with volume, as did MDB. MDB had a weak earnings report, uh, bounce back from it, but uh, heavy selling today on above average volume. So, with these, what we're looking at, they did they break the 21? Will they reclaim the 21 if they close below it? And what was the volume like? Some of them had mildly heavier volume a lot of them broke it on very mild volume you only get paid on price uh, but volume's important as well as what did the overall sector do GoDaddy, uh big winner last year first close below the 21 duo lingo big hit today uh down 5.51 percent below the 21 path we trim this close below the 21 uh dash doordash uh, below the 21. So really what we'll be looking for on these names is today, do today's lows hold? You very often in growth leaders see elevator down days. The question is, how do they act in the follow-up to that day? We pointed that out last week with the NASDAQ 100. Uh, we had an elevator down day here. We want to see how it acted over the next four days. We reclaimed it. Another uh, elevator down day today. Is the low going to hold or are these stocks uh, a victim of rotation into uh, some of the more defensive sectors. So that's something that we'll be keeping an eye on. Another one that surprised me today is Uber, big winner from last year, added to the S&P 500, sold on about above average volume today, down over 5%, clear break below the 21. That's going to wrap it. As always, like to hear from you. The email is Don at RiveraAsset.com. The phone's 855-REAL-WEALTH. That's 855-732-5932. If you're interested in becoming a client, email my partner, Dan Stewart, dan at revereasset.com. Remember, it's not how much you make in the market, it's how much of that you can keep. We've been focused on the make part over the last two months, but some leaders taking it on the chin today. Uh, we just need to see if we need to pivot to the keep. That's what we'll be looking for and to see uh, where the money starts to flow. And with that, I'll wrap it. Wrap up the video for the first trading day of the year, Tuesday, January 2nd. This is Don Vandenborg with Revere Asset. Checking under the hood, seeing what's actually happened. If you're driving home today and you heard the Dow is up 25%, 25 points, you might hear, you might think no big deal today. But if you check under the hood, a lot of rotation going on and we'll be uh, monitoring all week. Stay with us here at Revere. Thanks for listening and have a great day.